Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Angel. We're back with another video. And we're gonna be chilling today. Um, I want a relaxed day, kind of. And it's just gonna be basically me going to the store, getting some last minute things that I need to do just for Vlogtober. I actually do have a sleepover that's gonna be next Friday. So, looking over some last minute things and ideas just for you guys so I can end the Vlogtober off this month with a lot of good videos. A lot of this stuff I'm gonna go to Walmart and get, and I'm hungry. I'm gonna attempt to make a pizza tonight. I've been seeing a little viral pizza that people have been making on TikTok and the viral cookies. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I also bought this Lego set, which I'm gonna show you guys in a few. I bought the Lego set from Amazon, so it's gonna be really fire. I just want a little chill night, watch movies, stay in the house and chill. I was gonna get my friend to come along and do the stuff with me, but we're so tired. We had a busy day at work, and we all, we just really ain't got no energy. So it is like 7, 7.35 right now. I'm super tired. I came from work. I got off at five today. So I, I took a nap, because I went to my grandma's house. Took a nap for a few, well, not a few, I took a nap for an hour. Just got home, and I just put on this little Not Today shirt, because Not Today, <laughs> and what we're gonna do is really just chill. Got me on some of these regular leggings. I ain't fitting. I don't have no fit on today, so I'm not really gonna show you guys anything. But yeah, so I just want a little fun, little vibe. I wanna watch movies and chill, eat, be fat. I'm also gonna give me some wings because I'm hungry. Cause I don't know how long I'm gonna take the pizza to bake. I'm gonna look back at the video to see how long they bake their pizza. I need to get me a pizza cutter. And then everything's gonna be lit. And I also am gonna clean up because I gotta clean up for this party that's gonna be next week. I don't really have a lot of time, a lot of time during the weekday to do a deep clean of the house. So, and tomorrow, me and my man is going on a date to Pumpkin Patch. So I'm just really stoked about that. So I don't have really a lot of time. And I gotta find an outfit for that. I normally be prepared, but when I tell y'all these videos are very last minute and then I have to find an outfit for what I'm gonna do at work. I gotta find a Halloween costume, but I'm gonna put together a costume versus me going to buy one because spending 50 to $60 on a costume, I'm not only gonna wear it but once. Cause that's why I didn't really do no Halloween costume haul this year, guys. I still have some in there and I wanna actually sell that to get my money back from what I spent fashion over last year. So we shall see, honestly. Pretty much, I already know what I want to be. So I'm going to do a whole video on that. And if I go thrifting, just to find a couple of pieces. I've seen some things off Amazon that I'm going to get for what I'm going to be. And we're just going to take it day by day. I mean, I'm doing good with these videos, getting these videos out for you guys. So I cannot complain. So let me go to my vanity section so I can show you guys what I have. I guess I'm gonna really show you guys a couple things and clean off this vanity before I go to Walmart. Oh, gotta show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all my address. This right here is a little set that I got from Amazon. This is a little creepy looking house and ghosts and everything in here. Not by regular Legos. And it do say six plus, so it's gonna be something a little kitty. I just want a little something to do. Plus, I'm actually put these out as a decoration for the little Halloween party or wherever I put it. I don't know if I'm putting it in here or whatever. But I do need to clean this vanity off, so I'm gonna start off with that because it is gonna be a clean video too. And it has these little pieces, just putting something together while I'm watching a movie and just chilling. I might do that tonight. If not, then I'm gonna do a Sunday, just starting the piece by piece. Cause I need to do it before the actual, what is it, the actual day. I have on here is very unnecessary right now. I have a lot of things out that when I do my makeup. I gotta go through my vanity. So right now I'm not gonna clean the vanity for real. I'm gonna make that a whole video, probably in November. I'm not gonna lie. Cause right now I'm pressed on time this whole month. And I have people want to hang out with me now. I dropped my friend and my other friend that she wasn't a best friend, but she was a friend. After I pretty much stopped talking to them, I went down this little path, right, of me just not having friends or talking to nobody. But I did have this one friend named Harrison, and he was there through all of that. I was really just very depressed for a long time. So now, 
it's a lot of people that I'm meeting that want to hang out with me and just they want me around so I'm just like getting back into hanging out with different people and they're really sweet people which I like getting back into myself like I've been getting back to myself around last year honestly but this year I really opened up a lot and I'm a lot more loving than I've ever been and I think that's more so just me giving myself time and it is hard to kind of move on from situations but you have to overcome them and it is sad sometimes you gotta drop these people because I knew those people for a very long time and I and we were before I had stopped talking to them we were just talking about how long we all known each other how long we all been friends because that's the longest friend I've ever had in my life so when you are friends with somebody right and you've been with them for almost all of, half of your life you're like okay I can't leave this person I can't drop this person right but it's for me to really go in on this if you guys follow my journey if you guys follow this channel i don't want to it's still kind of new which is why i don't really want to talk about it now plus it's just i don't know like it's it is what it is at the end of the day and they probably feel like i've moved a certain type of way and i don't know if they still watch my videos but i'm a real person and i could be realistic and tell the truth on everything it's not that i wanted to just be like oh i hate them i wanted to leave them it was more so i had to because i'm i never really i'm never the person that that makes somebody do stuff or change up when somebody get with somebody or nothing like that so i'm always the same person and even with me being in a relationship i ain't gonna say i'm 100 the same person right but i'm not who they tried to make me out to be they literally play with my character they literally you know said things that weren't true and it's not that they tried to make me out to be a bad guy even though they did it's more so of the fact that they really thought and I think they were lying when they were saying the things that they said so if I feel like you guys are lying on me and stuff like that I'm not cool with that and whole part of the matter the problem is you can't sit here and say I wasn't trying to hang out with you guys I said no to one thing and that's because y'all were playing with me first. Y'all started hanging out without me, because mind you, I, I brought them both together. Y'all started hanging out without me. And then y'all sit here one of the days when y'all finally want me to go out with y'all, you want to sit here and you know ask me to go out then. But you was being funny before, and I was freed up on time, and then you want to sit here and say, oh, but you was hanging out with your boyfriend. I was not hanging out with just my boyfriend. I was literally going out with my family, and I asked him to come, because he's, of course, there. So wrong again and then it's it's more so a lot of them making assumptions and if for you for y'all to know me for so many years you should know that it's not a who i picked first because anyway if it mattered like if i'm gonna be for real if i would have put them in order it would have literally been my mom more so my family over everybody then it's my boyfriend then it would have been my friend bestie and then it would have been the other one like it was that order anyway so i was never wrong i mean you're not gonna be first anymore when y'all sit here and y'all was like oh i can't wait to see how you are gonna be when you get a boyfriend and i get one and you guys do that but okay and i'm venting and i know this because i gotta do a story time on it for people to pretty much understand and i want to do a story time too because even if they don't look at the video it's still a good story time to tell but my thing is it's more so of like I would not ever do something trifling to somebody first and the fact that people don't never see what they do and they want to sit here and say but you did this I do stuff after somebody do something to me literally every time and they know that like I am very unproblematic it's just weird that people bring stuff to me and then they feel like oh angel's not supposed to do something like if you hurt my feelings yes i'm supposed to sit here and just take it i guess you're supposed to slap me and i'm supposed to just sit there you're supposed to cuss me out and i'm supposed to just sit there something wrong to you you have free game to do whatever you want to to me like i don't understand how that is not okay and how people be feeling like you're supposed to just sit there and take whatever they give you i don't do that to people and then it's still like y'all switched up what i got to do y'all felt like i switched no y'all switched and then you, when we actually had the conversations you start telling me how you felt and i'm like so y'all both felt this way right and y'all did not ever bring it to my attention so both of y'all was telling each other that y'all felt away but none neither one of y'all brought it to my attention but y'all are not being fake that's so fake and for y'all to not 
see that that's fake is crazy. So y'all talking about me behind my back and both of the people who I brought together are like, it's not that y'all teaming up, but it kind of feels like y'all are. And it kind of is. But you guys don't look at stuff my way because y'all feel like I'm trying to be funny all the time. But okay. And that's why I don't feel like explaining myself to them and they i just say i want to block because people people i'm passionate about everything and that's what people don't understand like when i feel away it's not a lie like i feel away because i feel that way and i don't be wrong when i feel away every time i don't feel with somebody they don't been around they be like yeah you had a you had a right i had a right to fall with y'all too but it's just because y'all y'all feel like i'm not supposed to y'all you talk to me like a, off the street you well, you're acting like one like come on now and, and it's funny because after all of that, right? So I made a mistake and I did. I didn't have to cuss her out. I cussed one of them out. And they, they held me to that cussing out for the longest. But one, the other one, Bessie, proceeded to literally cuss somebody else out. After that, we ended up cussing somebody else out on text messages, our other friend that we used to be friends with. But you got me, you really like got on me for cussing this person out. And I had a legitimate reason that's why I cuss out. When you change your voice with me and when you're like lying on me, of course I have free games to cuss you out. Yeah, I don't have to, but if you're lying on me and I feel like you're lying on me, I ain't supposed to cuss you out. And it's funny because I know personally they they done cussed people out before. So why do I gotta be held to a certain standard but not everybody else? And then not only that, my aunt, my auntie was cussed out by one of her sisters. And I and the mama came on came to me and told me that I was a bad I was horrible for cussing somebody out. But the mama was on a text message with her her daughter cussed my auntie out. But she did not you didn't get on her? How you got on me? Uh, nobody holds you to the same standard as they hold as they hold their kids to or hold themselves to and that's not cool like that's the problem i got with y'all too and it's like dang my mama yeah my mama crazy or whatever but my mama literally sat there and was trying to hear each other out and she wanted more so me to be hurt because i had a legitimate reason as to why i stopped being their friend and nobody took the time to be like dang you're right angel and it's not saying that you're right it's more so just y'all understanding to why i had to leave i don't want to be y'all friend no more i once i blocked y'all i didn't want to but it's still more so of the understanding and i feel like you should give people the grace because i didn't have to talk to her again but i gave her the grace i was like okay let me just let me get out what i need to get out so you can understand and I don't think she still understood, but it, it doesn't matter. Like, I got it out. She got hers out, and I listened to her, too. It was vice versa. So it's just more so giving people the grace as to get it how they feel. Because like, y'all can't tell me how I feel. I can't tell y'all how y'all feel. And even if I feel like y'all are wrong for feeling the way y'all did feel about me being the problem, and then still, I am the problem. Why would you want to come back? Why would you want to talk? You don't need no closure. I don't, I'm the one need the closure. I didn't know y'all had a problem before and nobody would say nothing. That's, the, I needed the closure. And, and I still never got my answer as to what was the actual problem. I still feel like they're lying, but I can't sit here and say, I feel like they're lying. I, I don't even care no more. You are, that's on you. You Whatever you tell me, you tell me. I got time, though. I'm not finna sit here and go back and forth every year. It, it's not that, it's not getting that. I've been li literally living and trying to do what I got to do. And, and life is short. This whole year, people have been passing back to back. And they do every every day. But I'm just saying, like, dang, this year literally woke, it wakes you up when you see so many people dying back to back. And it's like, life's too short. It's too short to argue with people. It's too short to go back and forth. Like, if you want to fight, I mean, my thing, get it over with. If you want to hit me, hit me. Like, why do you, I don't sit here and keep playing with people like if you got a problem with me, just have a problem with me. I don't understand it. It's not that deep for real, too. I'm getting hair out this brush because all these wigs, honestly. Like, that's literally all of that story. And I know I didn't have to break that down on here, but I was telling you guys why I had to give myself a lot of grace when it came to starting over and finding new people. And I found a lot of people this year. I found a lot of people last year that I found that that aren't like I wouldn't give them best friend status but I would give them friend status honestly and they're cool and I'm cool with them I don't I don't do labels ever since I stopped being their friend I literally just live my life as I live it and whatever happens happens I don't sit here and be like oh we're gonna be best friends oh I'm gonna hang if you want to hang out with me you want to hang out with me and tonight 
one of my friends wanted to go me to go to see smile to her even though we just went last week to see terrifier and i'm like dang i wanted to go but i'm like i gotta do some other type of video and i was like dang i know you want to go out and see this movie together but i gotta do something <laughs> And I was gonna hang out with my other friend Harrison because I wanted him to be in this video and I'm making it more so a talking video, but it is what it is. Like it's just whatever happens, happens honestly. What's the tea? Let's clock in and put some on my lips because they are very dry. Gonna But that's that's literally what's going on. I'm hungry. What's she doing? She wanna go with me. So yeah. And I did want to go to the movies, and she she was so sad. She was like, I need somebody to go to the movies with me. But I no, and I was like, oh no, I'm sorry. I don't went to the movies last week with you. Like, I love a group of pretty females. And we all are different ages, and it's so funny because we're all almost like two years apart from each other. One is 20, I'm 26. One is 28, or almost 29, right? She about to be 29. And then the other one is 24. And my friend Harrison, if he go, Harrison is literally like 22. Friends with me now, I'm happy that I have people. I'm happy that I have my friend Harrison. I'm happy to have my mama. I'm happy that I have people that wanna do stuff. And now my brother be trying to do stuff with us. And I'm like, <laughs> I literally got a glitch and I'm happy. <laughs> I feel so loved now. I'm finding more people that's doing stuff with me and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate it, I really do. And I'm thankful, like for real. I really am. Let me go ahead and cut this short because I'm. It's gonna be a long video. I got the classic crust. Did you want to get this one too? We got the blue basket from McDonald's with Happy Meal. Look how cute it is this year. It's really cute. <laughs> mm. 
，你呢种系呢种咧。